Shalom, shalom. Shabbat shalom. Welcome to the Yahweh and Yeshua Speak television show. We are broadcasting from Yahweh and Yeshua's temple at 725 and a half Howard Street in Evanston, Illinois. And you can also catch us on the web at www.yandyspeak.org and www.yandyspeak.com. You can catch us on YouTube. You can also catch us on Chicago Access Network, CAN TV, Amen. Channel 36. And you can catch us on ECMC, Evanston Community Media Center, How Channel 6. Praise Yahweh. Praise we are going to continue in our lesson entitled, Adam, Where Art Thou? Adam, Where Art Thou? And we see that Yahshua, who was in the Garden of Eden, with the first man and woman, he asked Adam a question, Adam, where art thou, in Genesis, the third chapter. And so we're looking at why Yahweh asked Adam that question, and Yahweh is showing us that he is dealing with men in a special way. Yes. Because he gave man a leadership ability. Let's go to Hebrew or Hebrews, the 13th chapter. Hebrews the 13th chapter. So Yahweh gave man a leadership ability to see the big picture of what his life is about as far as Yahweh is concerned. And in, in my own life, uh, under shepherd, my ish, yes. came into the truth after I did, but I didn't really start on my journey with Yahweh until my ish and I got married. And I was at the Congregation of Israel. The teacher was Brother James Stearns. And after Under Shepherd and I got married, then Under Shepherd showed me how to evaluate <coughs> spiritually what Brother Stearns <coughs> was teaching me. Praise to my So God. Yahweh gave man that leadership ability. Yes. And I needed to hook up with him so he could break down some things for me. Yes. So I could do now what I am doing now. Praise the mighty Yah. Praise the mighty Yah. We're going to Hebrews 13, fulfilling yes. my vision that Yahweh gave me for my life. Hallelujah. At my ish, Yahweh told him what it was. Yes. Then he turned around and he told me what it was. Yes, praise he showed Yahweh me, right for our... which was a part of helping him in his yes. vision. Hallelujah. So, but he had to show me how to evaluate spiritually what the man of Yahweh was teaching me in my first Bible class. Hallelujah. And he used my ish, which he uses the man yes. to show his wife and his family how to hear from Yahweh yes. for themselves. <laughs> All right, we want, we want to start at Hebrews, the 13th chapter. And we're looking at this relationship between Yahweh and the man. Okay. Because the world has it all messed yeah, up. Yeah, they got it twisted. And we don't want to be ignoring the person that is hooked up with Yahweh. Right, praise that Yahweh. That can hook us up with yes. Yahweh. Yes, yes. Hebrews 13, and let's read verse 7. Praise Hebrews Yahweh. Hebrews 13 and verse 7. Read. Remember them which have the rule over you. Uh-huh. Who have Amar or spoken unto you, Hadabar or the word of Elohim? Yes. Whose immune out or faith follow? Uh huh. Considering the end of their conversation. Okay. okay. So Yahweh showed me from reading the scriptures that he told the man in Bereshith or Genesis okay. that he had the rule over his wife, uh -huh. his Isha. Says Yahweh. But now. A man of Yahweh uh -huh. that Yahweh is dealing with understands what that means. Right, right. It no doesn't arrows. mean the rule like uh, a natural minded person uh -huh, would uh -huh. think that the rule means. Uh -huh. What it means is that <coughs> we're going to read that scripture again today that Yahweh, Yahweh has Ra -ah. set things up in order. Okay. And he has put the woman up underneath the man as far as directing her and opening up what her destiny is to her. Praise Yahweh. So Yahweh had shown me that. Uh-huh. So 
this verse I remembered when my husband came into my life. I right, didn't right. know he was going to be my husband. Right, right. And people have it backwards <laughs> where the woman thinks she can find the man <laughs> or vice versa. <laughs> yeah. But Yahweh yeah. says yeah. it's the man that comes and finds right. right. his wife. That's right. He said, if a man finds his child, it's a good thing. So it says, remember them which have the rule over you. Okay. Well, once we were married, then I remembered the position that Yahweh had put Praise my husband God. in. And it says, who has spoken unto you the word uh -huh. of Yahweh, uh -huh. who is faithful is concerning it. me into their conversation. Yes. yes. So Yahweh helped me realize, okay. even though I had been in the word maybe a year and a half, two years before Under Shepherd came in, Yahweh showed me quickly after Hallelujah. we got married. Hallelujah. He was already ahead of me. Okay. Because Yahweh put that in him. That, that's it. Yahweh put it, it in up. every man. That's right. Yahweh said it. But it's it up. just there's so many men out here that are not listening to no, they me. Not, they not got or a man up. Yahweh's going to show us there's an imbalance in the structure Yahweh put up. He put up a man and a woman yes, he did. to be the head of a family. Yes, he did. Well, the devil messed it up. Yes, he did. Ra, so now, ya, ra, 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 the exception ra, 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 in certain ethnic groups uh -huh. is to have that like Yahweh said it was supposed to be. Okay. And it's affected. Yes, it has. Look around. The men Look around. that Yahweh deals with. All right, let's go to Second Thessalonians. Praise the mighty Yahweh. So, under shepherd taught me to follow Yahweh, following Him. Uh -huh. So again, you can't do what you don't <coughs> do. You can't teach what you don't uh, do. Right, right. And you can't convince anybody of something that you're, you know, you can just say it. No, you you have to be doing it. That's right. You gotta live so it. So He taught me to follow Yahweh by following Him. Okay. And. I have had people since he went to wait on the resurrection. Praise we're going to Second Thessalonians, the third chapter. Hallelujah. Come to me and tell me, oh, I thought you did all that. <laughs> and they, they're asking me about how to find out this or how to do this or that. And I tell them, uh, Under Shepherd did that. Okay, praise the mighty Yah. My, my ish did that. Right, right. Now, I did what Yahweh told him to tell me uh -huh, to do, uh -huh. but... You're looking at the wrong person. Okay. But see, that's because the world <laughs> always assumes that the woman is running something. Uh -huh. And a lot of times she is, but she's not supposed to be. Okay. All right. But I had people right, 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 so come you know. and tell me, oh, I thought you did all that. Uh -huh. I did exactly what the Ruach you know, right. Makaya told me. So I was doing a lot of stuff, mm -hmm. but at his direction. Right. Praise Yahweh. And Yahweh used him okay. to lead me to his destiny for me because yes. when a woman and man get together lawfully uh -huh. and are married, lawfully. the woman's destiny is tied up in the man. That's right. it? Yes. It's tied up in his. So right. you run yeah, into a problem when the man doesn't know where he's That's going. Right. That's right. That's yeah, right. Ra -ha. All right, we're in Second Thessalonians, the third chapter. So in time, Yahweh gave unto Shepherd the vision for his life. Yes, and he Praise passed it on Yah. to me. Yes, as his lawful yes. issue. Hallelujah. And I received the vision for yes. my life. Yes, Praise the mighty Yah. Praise the mighty Yah. The vision is moving forward. Second Thessalonians three, and let's start at verse seven. Praise Yahweh. Second Thessalonians three and verse seven reads. For yourselves, yada or know uh -huh. how ye ought to follow us. Yep. For we behave not ourselves disorderly uh -uh. among you. Nope, nope. So when you're looking at husbands and wives and they're in the ministry, you should be looking at them doing the same thing. All right. He said, for yourselves know how you ought to follow us. Uh -huh. Why? Because Yahweh is going to show us the man and the woman are one. That's right. They're together. That's they're not right. That's competing what he said. with each other. That's right. That's right. He's always going to show us how he he started talking about it on the last show. Okay. He made the woman to be the helper to the That's man. That's right. That's and it, that Yahweh. means they're not in competition. No, they're not. They want a car. And Yahweh equips the woman so she can help the man fulfill the vision that Yahweh has on his life. Yes. Amen. So he said, you know how you ought to follow uh -huh, us, uh -huh, uh -huh. but we didn't behave ourselves disorderly among you. That's right. There wasn't 
the man saying one thing and the woman saying something different. Right, they were on one accord. Verse 8. Neither did we eat any Adam's lechem or man's bread for naught. Okay. But walk with labor and travail, yep. night hell or night and yam or day, that we might not be chargeable to any of you. Okay. So you didn't see us trying to get some money from you uh -uh. <laughs> to do what Yahweh said the vision was. Praise you, Yahweh. You didn't see us trying to get you to take us here or take us there or do this for us. It says, neither did we eat any man's okay. bread for nothing, but we worked. Right, right. With labor and travail, yes. doing what needed to be done. That's right. Praise Abba Yahweh. That we might not be chargeable to any of you. Why? That's right. Who's giving us our reward? Who's Yahweh. paying us? Yahweh. Yahweh. Yeah. Yahweh got bigger pockets than you. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Yes, it's unlimited. Yes, when a man is following Yahweh, then he understands who he's getting yes. paid by. Yes. So Praise he's not looking he for the people. To, to pay him. Right? Amen. He's hooked up with Yahweh. Hallelujah. Praise the mighty Yahweh. And then he turns around Praise and tells his Yahweh. wife and the family, and they get the same understanding. Yep, yep. Praise They're not looking for Yahweh. stuff from people. No, we're not. All right, verse 9. Not because we have not much shell or power, okay. but to make ourselves an example unto you to follow yes. us. Praise follow Yahweh. us as we follow Yahweh. Uh -huh. So then you see how it's done. Right, right. And then you, your expectations are not misplaced on the people. No, they're not. Sometimes they people um, misplace expectations yeah, on yeah. people. Right, right. They look for stuff from them that they shouldn't be looking for. Yah, ra, e, ra, uh, tell it like it is. He says, not because we have not power. Right, right. Yahweh's given us power. Yes, he has. But he also said in scripture, he didn't make us masters over his people. That's either. right, that's he right. He's their master. Uh-huh. He didn't, he didn't put us in certain positions to control his right, people. Right, that's or right. Or manipulate them. Put no he one put in us bondage. in certain positions to help them to hook yes. up with him That's and it. to have, relate better to him Hallelujah. and to become what he called them to become. Right. So let's go to Philippians the third chapter. Praise the mighty Yahweh. Philippians the third chapter. So Yahweh has a road for the man to travel. Yes, he does. And lead the way uh -huh. for the woman and his family right, to right. follow. And the world has it backwards. You got yep. the woman out here running fast and fast, <laughs> and then she right. want to tell the man, come on. It's backwards. <laughs> Philippians 3. Praise Abba Yahweh. That's why the world is in such uh -huh. chaos. Uh -huh. And then it started with us personally, our uh, nation. Okay. They did it in slavery deliberately. Yep, yep. Willie Lynch yeah, right. reversed yeah, right. uh, everything. Yeah. And he made the woman see the man as non existent. Right, right. As unable to protect her, as unable to protect the children, uh -huh. unable right. to protect the family. And and he he brainwashed uh -huh. us. But now Yahweh is unbrainwashing yes, us. Yes, he has praise the mighty So we can praise see the, the man. Mighty, yeah. In the role that he's supposed to be yes, in. Yes, hallelujah. And we can support him and help him get there. Yes. Mm. So Yahweh has a role for the man to travel. Yes, he does. And lead the way for the woman and uh -huh. his family to follow. Right. Philippians 3, we're going to read verse 12. Praise Yahweh. Philippians 3 and verse 12. And it reads, Not as though I had already attained, either were already perfect, huh. but I follow after. Uh -huh. If that I may apprehend that for which also I am apprehended of Mashiach Yahshua. That's right, praise So here is this man Yah. of Yahweh saying that I'm following after That's Yahweh. It. I'm studying the Bible. Hallelujah. I'm doing you know what Yahweh tells me to do. Yes. So I can form that relationship with Yahweh. So I can be in the position that I'm supposed to be in. It says not as though I had already attained. So he's not acting like right. he is already. Right. gotten everything that Yahweh has called him to do in his generation. Yeah. Yahweh doesn't give it to the man all at once. No, it'd be too much. He can't give it to the woman all at once for that Lord reason. When Yahweh gives it to the man, then he'll give it to the woman. And, and so Yahweh is teaching the man and the woman what reality is. Yes. Because sometimes it. you have people that, okay, well tell me from 
this day to the end of our lives, what's going to happen, huh. what is going to happen, huh. do me a chart and write it out. It's not no. me no, he, he can't do that so because Yahweh doesn't give it to him. That's like right. That. Praise That's what you call God. walking God by walk faith. It out. That's what you call That's believing it. Yahweh. That's it. That's I'm what you call Yahweh. understanding Yahweh yes. is telling you. Yes. And he'll tell you one thing one day. Uh-huh. And then he may tell you something different. Right, right. A week from now. Yeah, hallelujah. So the man understands and the woman has to too. You can't get stuck doing things a certain way uh -uh. and uh -uh. thinking it's always going to be that uh -uh. way. Because when Yahweh <laughs> says, okay, you did it that way, now I want you okay. to, to do it this way. That's right. Then... The woman's got to be ready to move, because why? Yahweh has put her there to help. Right, right. To support. And That's we're going right. to look more into what that is talking about. All right? So it's not as though it's already done. No, it's not. Romans 15. Plenty it's, much to do. Praise as, God, but Yahweh. as we live and as we walk with uh -huh. Yahweh, we start finding out more and more about yes. how Yahweh is and uh -huh. how... The vision what a wonderful thing. unfolds itself. Yes, it does. Wonderful. The mystery unfolds and itself. And now you start out doing one thing, and uh -huh. then you end up doing another thing, yep. and another thing, and that's what Yahweh calls us to do. When Yahweh says this area needs help in it, right, right. Then Yahweh shows the man, and then Yahweh says, "Okay, Yahweh said we need help in this area." Okay. Then he turns around and says, "Okay, wife." Yahweh said we need help in this area, okay. so Praise let's work on God. that. Yes. And then, what you do is you go to work and you see what Yahweh is yep. telling you how to yep. do that in that he area. shows it to you. And then, lo and behold, it all of a sudden done. you're doing it, it in that done. area. All right? Praise yes. to my Romans God. 15 and verse 20. Hallelujah. It's a process. Yes, it is. Yes. Wonderful you can't process. know it before Yahweh tells you it. No, you got to wait on him. Don't jump ahead. And verse 20. And it reads, Yea, so have I strived to Yahweh or preach the doctrine. Yes. Not where Mashiach was Shem or name, lest I should build upon another Adam or man's foundation. Huh. Huh. So we're building on Yahweh's foundation. That's right. And the man has his own individual vision. That Yahweh has specifically for him. Praise I'm Yahweh. He's not to be copying after another man. Uh -uh, uh -uh. He can learn from another yes, man. Yes, yes, yes. Like I got uh, uh, from Yahweh, Yahweh. Yes. But he has to be himself That's in the That's vision. That's the only way to roll with That's Yahweh. That's what Yahweh wants. He's right. given each specific man yes, his he own has. individual talent. Praise be to the mighty Yahweh. And he got to let Yahweh, Praise Yahweh develop that yes. talent in him. Yes. Then when he marries his Isha, his wife, then she's going to be building and supporting him in right, his right. talent. Right. And and we as women can't try to make him have a talent that he doesn't have. Mm -hmm. Then we're out of order. Then nobody, nobody's going to follow the man. That's right. Then you're going to be in trouble with Yahweh. Yahweh, it brought us to the right. to know. Go to Romans, the eighth chapter. Praise the mighty so, Yahweh. But when man is out of place, uh -huh. Yahweh will ask him, where art thou? Yep, yep. What's up with and you, we bro? saw that that word in Hebrew is A-E. Okay. A-Y. In other words, where you at? Uh -huh. What are you doing? Yeah, what you doing, man? You're supposed, supposed to be doing, doing what I put you on the earth do. for. So right? what, what are you doing? Right. <laughs> What's up? So Adam, as the foundation, or the man, has to know he is the foundation. Okay. And that's what's missing. That they don't it. know they're the foundation. That, no, they do not. Women don't know they're okay, the foundation. Okay, they don't know their role. Children don't know right? they're the if foundation. Adam don't know his role, not could they? And he needs to know that he's equipped to act in that capacity. Yes, he has As equipped the up. head of the family. Yes. We're in Romans the 8th chapter. Praise Yahweh. And Yahweh. we're going to start at verse 28. Romans 8. Hallelujah. And verse 28. Because you got the world out there uh -huh. <clears throat> telling the black man he's, huh. he's not nothing. He's right, not right. going to be anything. Yeah, so they say. He's going to be a drunkard. He's going to uh -huh. be a dope addict. Yep. He's yeah, going to be worthless. Yep, don't work. They, they profile him. Yep. So we as women have to wake up so we can help. Stop the profile. Praise the mighty Yahweh. That's Keep right. Him the profile That's right. Yahweh Away Israel. Romans 8, let's read verse 28. Praise, all right. Uh, let's read 29. Praise right. the mighty Yah. Romans 8, 29. And it reads, For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate yes. 
to be conformed to the image of his bond okay. or son. What a wonderful that he thing. might be the firstborn among many brethren. Hallelujah. So Hallelujah. here is letting the man know uh -huh. he been predestinated. There's a plan going yes, it on. Yes, is. From Yahweh. He's got his image and his identity. Yes. It comes from Yahweh. From Abba Yahweh. The problem comes in when he's not hooked up That's with right. Yahweh. That's it. Raw eye and raw. I'll tell it like it is. And the problem comes gets compounded when the woman's not know, hooked right? up with right. Yahweh. Right? right? Verse 30. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, uh -huh. he called them already. Right, right. Then he also cried or called. And whom he corrupt or called, them he also yes, justified. Yes, praise Yahweh. And whom he justified, them he also kabod or glorified. Yeah. So the yes, man is yes. not missing anything other than he got a hook up with Yahweh. That's it. It's already been put in him. It's already there. Just Go to uh, first wake Timothy, up to Yah. Praise chapter. the mighty Yah. It's already in him. Praise he just got to hook up with Yahweh That's and it. let Yahweh bring it out. Yes. First Timothy, the second chapter. So when man has found his spiritual work, uh -huh. again, that's his main thing that he's to be doing. Yes, his spiritual yes. work. Yes, that's and, it. And Yahweh showed us it's a problem when man thinks his secular work huh, right. in the world yeah. is his main work. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. The secular work is the work he's got to do uh -huh. because he got kicked out of the garden. That's right. Oh, that's right. the work that's under that's the curse. That's right. He said, man, but don't his work main don't work eat. is his spiritual that's work. That's it. That's the work that he's supposed to be doing yep. for Yahweh. That's oh, why yeah. Yahweh caused him to be born. That's yes. why Yahweh put him on the earth. Praise now, the mighty Yah. When man has found his spiritual okay. work, he secures the peace of the woman. Hallelujah. Woman Praise the mighty Yah. That's right. And when he doesn't know his spiritual work, that makes the woman insecure. Yes, yes. And a woman's yeah, right, first need right, uh, tell is like security. It is. Yes. That's her first need. Uh-huh. Yes. Praise the mighty God. The woman God. did not come to compete with the man. She oh, came no. to complete the uh, Right? That does man. Says That's Yahweh. what Yahweh said. He looked at man after right. he made him. He said, oh, it's not good for him to be Right, woman. right. Praise our right. Yahweh. He, he said, I'm going to make him a help me for it. And you know, it's a funny thing. Yahweh was showing me in between the verse when he said, it's not good for man to be alone. Mm -hmm. And he said, I'm going to make him a help me for him. And he took the rib from uh -huh. the man. Uh -huh. He made all the animals and stuff. Yep. So for all these people that's on TV licking their dogs and cats <laughs> and talking about their man's best friend. Okay. Yahweh said, uh, no, he no, didn't that, stop that, creating. That, that, that. Right? Until he made the woman. That's man's best friend. So that's the one that goes with the man. Mm -hmm. All right? You see him laying all up. Uh-huh. In the bed. Uh-huh. Stop, stop, stop. So <laughs> woman did not come to compete yeah. with man. No, she they did not. To complete man. Right, right. And we, in this uh, particular temple, we had uh, a suggestion that we have a children's class. And we've had them throughout the years several times. And it was a couple that suggested it. So then Micaiah, you know, said, oh, yeah, sure, that's an excellent idea. You know how we sit around on the Shabbat and everything. So yeah. we started having a children's class. Well, we were both surprised that the woman taught the children's class. And then we said, well, maybe they're going to take turns. But throughout the time that the class was going, the woman taught, huh. and the man never taught. Huh. That was out of order. Okay. And so, just both of us, we, we shared it with each other, and it was like, okay, what's up with that? Huh. So, let's go to 1 Timothy 2, I'm going to read verse 3, because the husband never did. He never taught that okay. class. Okay. Mm -hmm. That was out of order. Mm -hmm. First Timothy 2 and verse 3 reads, For Adam, or man, was first formed, then Kava, or the woman. So man was first. And so, so the man was formed first. And I may have the wrong scripture, but we'll we'll work that out later. Praise Yahweh. So the man was formed first. Yeah. Okay. And Yahweh showed us that what that meant was Yahweh gave the man all the information. Okay. 
And it was up to the man to pass it on to the woman. That's right. When this children's class was being set up, the man was supposed to be in there. Okay. Doing the children's class and showing the woman how it should okay. be done. Okay. Praise Yahweh. And if the man didn't have the vision for the children's class, it should have never got off okay. the ground. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yahweh, 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 Let's go to uh, Habakkuk, the second chapter. Habakkuk or Habakkuk. So Yah Yahweh equipped the woman to help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when the man finds the woman, uh -huh. she's waiting for the vision right, from right. the man so she can help with it. Yeah. The man has been given the vision. And Yahweh teaches him how to delegate yes, yes. and pass the vision on. Yes, he does. And the first one Listen. he delegates and passes it on to is his Isha. Okay. Back up. Why? Because she's his helper. Okay. And now either he wants help with the vision or he doesn't. Huh. But uh, Yahweh said he uh, gave her to be a helper. Yes, yeah, it does. Yes, Yahweh. Uh, Habakkuk, the third chapter, or Habakkuk. And we're going to read one verse, verse 13. Pray, shall we? And it reads, Thou wentest forth for high Yahshua, or the salvation of thy Amor uh -huh. people, uh -huh. even for Yahshua, or salvation <coughs> with thine anointed. Okay. Thou woundest the head out of Habayat, or the house of Harasha, or okay. the wicked, okay. by discovering the foundation unto the neck. Selah. So this is how man gets on track. It says, discovering the foundation unto the neck. Well, getting it in his head, like, okay. oh, Yahweh has me here for a purpose. Yes. What am I supposed to be doing? That's right. It says, you went forth for the salvation of the people. Uh -huh. This is all about salvation. That's it's it. all about getting That's people right saved. It. Praise and the mighty them, uh, Redeeming them out of the lake of fire. That's it. Stopping them from going to the lake of fire. Said, Tell it like it is. You wounded the head of the house of the wicked by doing what? Discovering okay. Okay. what Praise your identity is. Discovering yes. what you're here for. Yes, we did. Let's go to 1 Corinthians 11. Praise the mighty Yah. So first, men pass the vision on to their lawful wives. Okay. And I say lawful because right. there are things out here that people say uh -huh. you can do between a man and a woman and makes them marry. Uh -huh. But Yahweh didn't say. That's right. right. That's a lie. Yeah. Yes. Going to uh, 1 Corinthians 11. Praise the mighty Yah. So Just first they pass Yahweh. the vision on to their lawful wives, then they and their wives pass it on to their children. Right, right. What That's they're fine. supposed to be doing. That's right. First Corinthians. I got it. Uh, 11. <laughs> and we're going to start at verse 2. First Praise Corinthians 11. Uh, Yahweh. And verse 2 reads, Now I halal or praise you, Ak, or okay. brethren. Uh-huh. That ye remember me in all things. Okay. And shema or keep the ordinances yes. as I deliver them to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's it. Three. Yeah. But I would have you yada or no. Uh-huh. Here it is. Here's the law. That the head of every Adam or man is Mashiach. Yes. And the head of Ha'isha or the woman. Yes. Is Ha'ish or the man. Uh-huh. And the head. Of Mashiach is Elohim. Hallelujah. Now this doesn't mean that like this brother tried to tell me when I first came into the truth. Before, while when I was uh, riding home uh, one evening, I didn't know much about the Bible, but Yahweh had trained me in the secular world. Okay. And I was raised by my father. Right, right. So Yahweh had my father didn't know Yahweh. Uh huh. But. The man was the head, yeah, yeah. and Yahweh had given the man the vision, so I was raised in a strong way. Praise the mighty Yah. Because when my parents split, my father took me, and he and his mother raised me. Hallelujah. And my father, I was raised by my father. Hallelujah. So this brother, you see, <laughs> it says this verse, I would have you know that the head of every uh, man is Mashiach, and the head of the woman is the man. Uh-huh. 
Well, he wanted to tell me this verse. <laughs> he wasn't my husband. <laughs> right. And he wanted to tell me, well, you see, uh, men are the head of women. Okay. And I listened very politely to what uh -huh. the brother was saying. But I was not one of these, <laughs> as the Bible calls them, silly women. Okay. And I love my sisters. Praise Don't get me wrong. That's I right, love that's my right, sisters. That's right. But being raised by my physical father... Even though he didn't know Yahweh, okay. he put something in me Hallelujah. that let me know just because somebody's <laughs> saying something to me, yeah. even though I don't know much about it, doesn't mean I should take it at face value. That's right. So I listened to the brother tell me how the man is the head of every woman and the woman is on, on, underneath every okay. man and okay. she's a second class citizen. Uh -huh. So he thought. And once he finished talking, <laughs> then I said, respectfully, brother, I don't know about the Bible, much about it. And if I'm wrong, I'll come back to you and I'll apologize. But for right now, I don't see you as the head of me for nothing. <laughs> I praise and I told him in front of these praise other two brothers that were in the, in the car. And so I'm thinking, hey, if I don't get a ride uh, back to the north side after this, oh well. That's right. I said it nicely. Yes. But it's just like, <laughs> did you get a ride back? Oh wait. I did. Praise God, because he wasn't even riding. He, it wasn't even his car. No. <laughs> he, he was riding along with. Amen. Hey. Amen. And I love my brothers too. Yeah, yeah. Praise he was in order to tell me that. Uh -huh. And he was trying to manipulate me by me just coming into the uh -huh. truth. Amen. Uh, okay, let's go to Acts the 18th chapter. Y'all had your back. So from their husbands, wives learn the fullness of their helper roles. Right, right. From their husbands. That's right. Tell I like it is, says, uh -uh. let Every husband had his, his own, own wife. His, wife. Wife. his own wife. wife. So he also says by that that the husband is supposed to be telling his own wife. Yeah, right. So if somebody tries to step over another husband or a unmarried man uh -huh. to direct another man's <laughs> wife, then Yahweh lets us know as women. We can respectfully disagree okay. and tell them, now you need to go tell your own. Okay, praise be to the mighty God. get one so you can tell her. <laughs> but Amen. we are not. We <coughs> won. That's right. Yahweh is the one that. That's right. Thus yeah. says Yahweh. And you're not married. Praise the mighty God. Acts 18. Yahweh. And we're going to start at the first verse. Acts 18, and Yahweh, he deliberately put these laws out here. Uh -huh. So then we would stand up and we would uh, understand that right. we can do what he called us yes, to we do. Can. That is help. Yeah. But he didn't say run around helping everybody. He didn't <laughs> right, right. say that. Uh -uh. Verse 1. Praise After Yahweh. these things, Shaul departed from Athens and came to Corinth. Uh -huh. Verse 2. And found a certain Yadim, Shem, or named Aquila, born in Pontius, Lately come from Italy with his Isha or wife Priscilla. Uh -huh. Because that Claudius had commanded all Yadim to depart from Rome and came unto them. Verse 3. And because he was of the same craft, he abode with them and wrought by their occupation. For, for by their occupation they were tent makers. Uh -huh. So we see here's his husband and wife. Okay. Aquila and Priscilla. Yep, 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 yep. And their secular occupation. Okay. Remember now, if they're a believer, they understand from Yahweh, they discovered, oh, right. this is my spiritual occupation. Yep. This is my main thing yeah, I'm supposed to that's be doing. Right. The world has it reversed. They have it twisted. The main thing they're doing is that secular it's stuff work. out yep. there. Secular and if work. they can put Yahweh in their back pocket uh -huh. a second they they every can. year, uh -huh. then that's what they do. Yahweh, right, right. But not for Tell the man like that's is. found Yahweh. Amen. So here, you have a husband and wife, and their secular occupation, just like Shaul's, was to make tents. Okay. Okay, let's skip down this same chapter to verse 24. Praise now Yahweh. we're going to see their real occupation. Okay, praise The Yahweh. spiritual occupation. Praise the and again, God. you have to work this natural occupation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If Just you want to eat, if Just you want to have some place to live. He said, man, don't that's worry. That's under the curse. All yep. right? But now this Yahweh. is the main Yahweh. occupation. Tell like right? 
18 verse 24. And a certain Yadim, uh -huh. Shem or named Apollos, uh -huh. born at Alexandria, an eloquent Adam or man, okay. and mighty in the scriptures, yeah. came to Ephesus. Okay. So now here's a brother, Aye. and he understands the scriptures. Yeah. Okay, verse 25. This Adam or man was Musa or instructed in the way of Yahweh. And being fervent in Habruach or the spirit, okay. he amar or spake and taught diligently yes. the things of Yahweh. Yes. Yada or knowing only the baptism of Yachanan. Okay. So he knew the scriptures, but he was limited. Okay. Because it said he only knew the baptism of Yachanan. Okay. Well, there was another baptism. The spiritual baptism yes. of Ruach HaKadosh. Yes. All right. All right. So verse 26. And it says, And he began to amar or speak boldly in the synagogue okay. or in the temple. Yes. Whom when Aquila, this husband, and Priscilla, his wife, okay. had Shemar or heard. So they were both in the temple. Uh -huh. They both heard this man speaking the scriptures. What did they do? It says, whom when Aquila the husband and Priscilla the wife okay. had Shemar or heard, they took him, uh -huh. this man, unto them and expounded unto him the way of Elohim more Praise perfectly. The mighty Yah. More completely. Yes. Hallelujah. Husband and wife. Yes. Hallelujah. And the husband Aquila had explained to his wife and broke down to her right, right. what her vision was right. up under him. Uh huh. And they were together yes. explaining the scriptures That's right. to this other brother. Hallelujah. More completely. Uh huh. Go to Proverbs the 10th chapter. Just like you and the ark did for us, praise the mighty Yah. Proverbs 10. Oh. Praise Abu Yahweh. And verse 1. Hallelujah. So Yahweh. whatever the husband's vision from Yahweh is, that's what the wife helps him with. Uh-huh. And that's what's passed on to the children. That's right. That's right. Verse 1 reads, the Proverbs of Shalomo or Solomon. Uh-huh. A kakam Adam, or yeah. my son, yeah. make it they glad, Abba. Yeah. But a foolish bond or son is the heaviness, there's an imbalance, right. of his M or mother. That's right. So true. See, so there, there's a balance that Yahweh instilled in the home. Yep. Yeah. And if that balance is messed up, uh -huh. then it messes up with the one that's supposed to be leading. Yes, it does. The home. Yes, it will. It says the son. <clears throat> Go to Proverbs 17. Praise the mighty Yah. So this English word heaviness is in the Hebrew tuga. Okay. That's T-U-W-G-A-H. It's found at Strong's number 8424. Praise Yahweh. Meaning depression. Okay. So that can depress. Yeah. The man, the young man's spirit, not having the father man in his okay. rightful place. Right, right. It means it's a grief. Yes, it is. And it's a sorrow. Yeah, it can be. To the man child. Yep. Proverbs 17, and let's read verse 25. Praise the mighty Yah. And it reads. A foolish bond or son is a grief uh -huh. to his Abba or father. Yep. And bitterness to her that bear yep. him. Yep. Why? Because the adult father is not in his rightful That's place. That's right. Y'all right, right. That's what threw the man child off. Right, right. That's what causes him to be foolish. That's right. Tell it like it is. Foolish is when. You are clueless about what you're here for. Okay. You're clueless about what yeah, man right, is right. about. You're clueless about what you're supposed to be doing okay. with your life for Yahweh. as the head of a family. For Yahweh. You think, like Willie Lynch said, that if I have enough babies. Huh. Mm -hmm. Then that makes me the head of a family. So, yeah, so they think. That don't make you no know, man. But it all starts with 
Yeah. The man not being in his place. Right. That's it. Kind of like it so is. So Yahweh can deal with right. him. Right. Praise the mighty Yah. And That's so right. the rest of us can get up in line under yes. the man. Yes. Praise the mighty Yah. Go to Proverbs 19. Praise the mighty Yah. It, it, it's sad. Man up, brothers. Man, man up. Yah up. And Yahweh says that it. It's thrown off everything. Yes, it does. Look yes. around. Everything is <coughs> messed up. Yes, it is. Look around. Yes. Because the man is not in his. He's not yying up. Rightful position. Proverbs 19 and verse 13. Praise Yahweh. Well, now, to commend the women is better than letting the children be out there with no houses, with no food, no clothes. Okay. So, for people that want to uh, knock the woman and say this, that, and the other, they stepped in where they had to step yeah, in. Yeah, that's right. They had to take and care of the until cop. the man clues in and right. says, "Oh, praise hey, the mighty y'all. This is I'm 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 supposed to be doing this, right. and this, and this. Man up. Now let me turn around and let me. And now they have a fight on their hands. Uh -huh. Why? Because everything is up under the curse. Okay. And right, the woman's right. been carrying the burden so long. Yes. That she doesn't trust the man. That's right. Y'all right. To Tell carry like it, it. So there's healing that's got to take yes. place in yes. the relationship. Yes. Tell and like they got to give it time. That's right. They both got to see. To there's healing that Yahweh has to, yes, to, that's to has perform to do in the it. relationship. Yes. yes. Proverbs 19 Praise verse 13. Yah. And it reads. A foolish bond or son uh -huh. is the calamity of his Abba or father. Yeah. So he said, lay it at the man's feet now. Okay. Don't be beating up the woman. Okay, she was heavy. Uh huh. Okay, because she's so detail oriented, she just about blew the young boy's mind, uh -huh. telling him all these details. When he's a big picture man, okay. he's a big picture person. So his world's been turned upside down. Uh huh. Because she's trying to give him all these little details, but she's a helper. Uh -huh. She wasn't meant to be the head. That right. Y'all right, Rod, so the hands can know. So here's Yahweh saying a foolish bond of son is a calamity of his father. Uh, it his, says, hey, uh, yeah. it's because the man yeah, wasn't he didn't there. man up. Because the man wasn't there he giving him the up. big picture. Right. And Yahweh put it inside the man naturally. Yes. Hallelujah. The woman will never have the big picture inside her Praise by herself. Praise the way. That's how y'all said it. The only way I got the big picture was my husband was hooked up with y'all. That's right. Praise the mighty Yahweh. Praise the mighty Yahweh. Hallelujah. And now Praise I can hear from Yahweh Hallelujah. to tell me what the big picture yes. is. Yes. Praise the mighty Yahweh. But if I hadn't had a man that was hooked up with uh, Yahweh, right. I wouldn't have had a big picture. Uh-uh. No, I just had not. the details. Right. 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 Amen. Praise Yahweh. 13. A foolish bond or son is the calamity. It's the mess up okay. of his father. Okay. Yes. And the contentions of a Isha or a wife are a continual dropping. Right. So right. when the man is not in his place, well. then the woman being the verbal talkative person that she is, okay. <laughs> she wants to talk, 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 to try to get him into the place that he's yeah. supposed to be. Yeah. But guess what? That makes him run the opposite oh, way. Oh, yeah. Pushing him away. What we, as women, need to do is turn it over to Yahweh. That's it. Let go Let's that get Yahweh. ourselves together. That's right. Because the more you talk, 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 <laughs> with a man, you might want to just shoot him out of a cannon. Because he's going to run that much further away from you. That's right. Praise it's just about Praise the, mighty the most Amen. worst words you can Amen. say to a man is, we need to talk. <laughs> you might as well shoot him out of a cannon again. <laughs> now, if you want to get rid of him, tell him that. <laughs> we need to talk. Yeah. <laughs> Go to Amen. Psalms 49. Praise the mighty Yah. Psalms 49. I love my sisters now, but yep. um, Yahweh's going to show us. Uh, we have to learn that uh, you know your being too talkative, know your place. Amen. being too talkative is a negative. Okay. <laughs> the English word foolish. Okay. So we're looking at a foolish that says man. Yahweh. How does a man grow up and become foolish? Huh. The English word foolish is the Hebrew word kisil. Okay. That's K-E-C-I-Y-L. And it's found at Strong's number 3684. And it means fat. Okay. 
figuratively stupid or oh, silly. Okay. Dust says Yahweh. Foolish. Dust says Yahweh. In other words, don't know how to be what he's supposed no, to be. No, he don't. You don't know Yah. It's from the Hebrew word kasal. That's K A W S A L. Found at Strong's number 3688, which is a primitive root word that means the same thing, stupid okay. or silly. Okay. Psalms 49. You think somebody would know if they're a man or if they're a woman, huh. what they're supposed to do or how huh. they're supposed to be, but you, you got it backwards. They don't, if they don't know y'all, they don't know. The world know. has turned it back, around backwards. Yes. If the slave master deliberately made the woman the man. Yep, yep. Y'all run it from the Sam's canoe. Tell like and it. And they're still acting yep, those roles. Yep, out. yep. I don't need no man. And then somebody was <laughs> telling me no that's sad. They do. Somebody was telling me that um, this this person just recently had a uh, uh, a child, and they are downgrading um, the father. Huh. And telling him he's stupid and all this. Uh -huh. and, yeah, you know, some of them do that. And this is a working man now. Yeah, some of them do that. And I'm thinking, you know what, sister? You <laughs> need to get yourself together. Uh-huh. Now, she's working too, but so what? Right. Unless unless she don't want the man. Now, she keep <laughs> telling him he's stupid and silly all right, she Right, right. If she don't want him, then, okay, you're going to raise that baby by yourself. Uh -huh. And you're already not married to the man. Y'all right, Raha Sarams. You know, tell her like it is. But I mean, you know, again, we as women, apart from Yahweh, oh, that's it. That's, we just that's the problem. Our, our mind tells us should be said or what should be done. Right, honest. right, right. And most times we're wrong. Uh huh. Psalms forty-nine, verse ten. Praise the mighty Yah. For he seeth that kakam adam or wise men move uh -huh. or die. Likewise, the fool and the brutish person. Uh -huh. There's that word foolish. Yep, yep. Perish yep. and leave their wealth to others. Huh. Yes. So this is what foolish men do. Yep, yep. Yes. They get paid one day and then some of them don't even get come home with the, with the money. <laughs> oh yeah. Like, what have you doing? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> they go to the racetrack or they, you know, and then what? Anything. You got got children at home. Uh huh. Yeah. Right. Y'all right. Tell it like it is. Psalms right. 92. Psalms 92. Praise the mighty God. Coming, coming from an imbalanced family. That's it. Where they, he doesn't know what a That's man right. is. That's right. He don't know no better. And he's not hooked up with That's, Yahweh. Tell it like it is, bro. And then. So the hams can know. They have the wife at home and she's not hooked up with Yahweh. That's right. So then they're both lost. wandering. It's lost. The best. Then if there's children, huh. they're out there they're wandering lost. too. They're so lost. just look at the world. Like That's I said, right. look, look at certain ethnic groups and you can see it. Yes. 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 Psalm 92 and verse 6. Praise the mighty A God. A brutish, there's that word again, uh -huh. Adam or man, Yada or know it not. No, he does not. He don't know Yahweh. No, he does not. Neither does they fool being or understand No, this. they do not. Understand why they're in, in the The, mess the world. In. Go to Proverbs 1. Praise the mighty Yah. It's because Yahweh is missing. That's it. That's what's missing. And Yahweh is the one that tells us when we're yes, off. Yes, he does. And yes, what he will. We're yes, off he has. How to get back on track. That's it. It's the boss. Proverbs 1 and verse 22. Praise the mighty Yah. It reads, How long? How long? Ye simple Akado ones, uh -huh. will ye have or love simplicity? Uh -huh. And the scorners delight in their scorning. Yep. And the fool's sane huh. or hate does says knowledge. Does says there are Yahweh. some people that hate a book. Oh yeah. Much oh, less yeah. when you talk about picking up the Bible I and know, learn right. something from it. I know, you know right? I mean? And they automatically and, and they can be they can be homeless. They can be <laughs> underneath the drive <coughs> on Lawrence okay. and Foster over there. And you go over there and you want to read something from the Bible to them, and they immediately oh, they yeah. want to dismiss it. They, they don't want to hear. Right. <laughs> they refuse y'all there. Mm -hmm. It says, how long will you love simplicity and the scorning, the light and scorning, and the fools hate knowledge? Yep. Those are the only people that hate knowledge. Thus says Yahweh. Fools. That's it. Go to Jeremiah or Jeremiah. Praise Yahweh. Yahweh. 10. Jeremiah 10. Praise the mighty Yah. Holla, ye Yahweh. Jeremiah 10 and verse 8. 
Great, shall we? And he reads. But they are altogether brutish. Uh -huh. Here's that word again. Thus says Yahweh. And foolish. Uh -huh. The stock is a doctrine of vanity. Look around. Look around. You see the vain and foolish the people. and brutish because they don't know Yahweh. That's right. Look at the vanity. Now let's go to Psalms 119. Praise the mighty Yahweh. So the woman is sorrowful when uh -huh. she has to step into right. the man's role. Yep, yep, yep. Because it can result in harm to the children yep. from the imbalance. Yep. Yep. From. So she's sorrowful, but she's just doing what she's got to That's do. That's right. That's it. She can't just say, hey, you know what? The man walked away or the man is, uh, he's not telling me where we're going or what we're supposed to do. And right, so right. Somebody got to feed these That's children. That's right. Somebody got to step up. And they're not goats. That's, on. That's right. I didn't say kids. <laughs> Somebody has to feed these children. Right, Somebody right. has to try to put a roof over their head. That's right. Praise Abba Yahweh for the women. And verse 28. But it does not alleviate the fact that the woman has to get into Yahweh's word so she can find out what's that's going it. on. Yeah, that's, we all have to and have then it. And don't go taking it to the man nagging at him. Talking uh -oh. about, hey, this is what's going on. Uh -oh. You're supposed to do this and this and this. Again, like I said, you can nag at the man uh -oh. if you right. want. Shoot him out of a cannon. That's what you're doing. That's it. If you want him to run right, as fast as he can away from you, like it is. then you nag it. Uh huh. You yeah. pray for Yahweh to put some laborers across his path. That's right. Praise so the mighty God. The, Praise the, the mighty God. Laborers can talk to him. Just do what you have to do. He will hear them before he will hear you. Right. Right. So the woman is sorrowful when she has to step into the man's yeah. house. Look so around. 119 and verse 28. Preach, shall we? And he reads, My nephesh or my soul melted uh -huh, uh -huh. for heaviness. Yes. So that's what happens when the heaviness comes yes, on. Yes, it does. Yes, it will. Yes, it has. When they're interacting with the wrong kind of people. That's right. It's heaviness. Yes, it is. Some people you can leave them and you feel refreshed. Yeah, feel praise the better. mighty God. Then there's other people, you know, you, you leave more even around them. Hey, right? It's just like heaviness. Like you, you can feel that oil. Shake it off. You like, can feel it. I remember years ago I was telling yeah. this uh, uh, brother, because he had a, what do you have, an, an engin engineering degree. I don't know if he had a PhD. I okay. don't quite remember. But he'd go to talking, and then I'd tell him, look, brother, you're pulling on me. Stop. <laughs> you're pulling on me. No, because I'm, I'm just, you know, very open. Yeah, that's and the I way you got to Stop. Me. Don't be trying to pull <laughs> nothing out of me. Okay. Like, let me, let me volunteer some stuff. <laughs> right. Whatever it is you're looking for, stop it. Stop, <laughs> stop trying Praise to pull it. Mighty, yeah. Right, stop trying to pull it. Let's just... Talk and That's right. you, you, you understand what I'm saying? Talk is y'all talk. But I did. I had to tell him several times. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> On different uh, Shabbats. Okay. Mm. Psalm 119, verse 28. <clears throat> my nephesh or my soul melted yeah. for heaviness. Yeah. Koak or strengthen thou me according to thy diabolical yes, word. That's the only way. So we can become strengthened because yep. we understand yes, what that we point are. is. We are. So we are. We are. We can put up our guard and yes. not, not let people, you know, be pulling and, right, and right. weighing heavy that's stuff right. on us. Or it's either something bad happened to somebody and then they want to come <laughs> dump it on you. Yeah, right? yeah. Like, you don't want to be a dumping ground. <laughs> uh -uh. Not with that mess. Go to Proverbs 14. Praise the mighty Yah. So this uh, heaviness uh -huh. is the Hebrew word uh, tuga. Yeah. It's also from another Hebrew word. We're going to Proverbs 14. <coughs> Yaga or yoga. That's Y-A-G-A-H. And it's found at Strong's number 3013. And it's a primitive root word. It means to grieve. Okay. So when you're dealing with heaviness, people are grieving. Yeah, they are. To grieve, and they're afflicting you. It yeah. Means to afflict. Yeah, with their mess. It means to cause grief and yep. to vex. Yeah. Proverbs 14 and verse 13. Praise Yahweh. And it reads, even in laughter. Uh huh. Uh huh. <coughs> or the mind is sorrowful. Yeah. And the end of that mirth is heaviness. Huh. Uh -huh. You've been around people where they just always want to try to make you laugh, or they want to be a comedian. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
They're in heaviness. They got issues. Maybe they're trying to get that. That's right. They're trying to right. They're trying to disguise. Uh, you know, to trying to you know crack jokes. Yep. And, you trying know, to disguise. So, so they're in heaviness. They got issues. But it says even in laughter, their mind is sorrowful. Huh. And the end of that mirth, after they stop laughing, they still they're still laughing. Feeling that heaviness. Because they don't get on Yahweh. On them. They don't know Yahweh. Somebody yeah. afflicted them with something. Okay. <laughs> and now they're trying to get that heaviness off off of them. Right. Right. Yeah. Go to Proverbs 17. Praise the mighty Yah. Told her you are Yahweh. And verse 21. Praise Yahweh. And it reads, He that begetteth a fool, uh -huh. doeth it to his sorrow. Uh -huh. And how Abba, or the father of a fool, had no sin to no. no. None. Why? Because <coughs> the fool is pulling on it. <laughs> yeah. Why? Because yeah. that's how they raised him. Yeah, yeah okay. That there's a heaviness on them. Okay. And they trying to deal with the heaviness. Again, when you're a man, Yahweh put the big picture in you. Yes. Hallelujah. But when you got Total that imbalance and the man is not in front of you uh -huh. to show you how to, to work that with right. that. Yeah, the right, ability right. that you have to have the big picture. Tell it like it is. Then you get <clears throat> all these details <laughs> from the woman who's there just trying to save the family. Okay. Just trying to keep the family from going right, down. Right, right, right. Amen. Praise right. the mighty God. But the man child has to learn how to deal with that. Okay. So they got all this heaviness on them from details. The big picture is in them. So they're just kind of schizophrenic. Uh -huh. They're frustrated. That's right. They, you know, and you see them out there. Yes. That's yes. what's going on. Uh, seen so many young <coughs> Shemite men uh -huh. Tell like it is, taking uh -huh. drugs in nursing homes. Yeah, yes. Broken down, yeah. broken vessels. Yeah, from yeah. heaviness. Yeah. Yep. From That's the it. father having left, not having mentored. That guidance they there to from the, a man. For the children. Right. And and the mother's doing the best of the Yes, praise be to Yahweh. 